Good morning, this is Mayor Valensky with the Driving Markets. So let's look at what is driving markets today. Well, the thing that's driving markets, obviously, and is there, the headline is inflation in interest rates. I've gone on on a daily basis regarding this because simply it's not going to go away. Inflation is on the rise. There's aggressively price, the production of goods is rising, the production of raw material, the cost of raw materials is significantly higher than it was last year, the cost of delivery is significantly higher, you're talking about a normal freight would cost last year $2,000 per crate, now it's costing $20,000, so that is being fed through to prices and that is frightening all the central banks. You've got interest rates that will be rising in Australia, New Zealand, uh, UK, the US, and in Europe at the moment, they're not rising because the European economy is very, very, very delicate, like most economies. And the ECB, the European Central Bank, does not want to raise rates at the moment. Uh, you've got indices yesterday. The markets came down significantly across the board. The biggest, the biggest victim of interest rate rises is the NASDAQ, which is the high-tech sector, simply because that is a very, very, very speculative index. All the stocks there are speculative. So people put their money in in order to speculate to make money. But when interest rates rise, then that money will be pulled out and put into more solid investments, whether it's bonds or cash in the bank, because a guaranteed rate is better than a speculative rate. And that's why the Nasdaq is being hammered. You probably could expect the Nasdaq to go down further. In my opinion, I think this year you'll probably see the Nasdaq at around about 12,000 level. Uh, people have told me and commented that my comments are extreme and there's no way the Nasdaq will go down to 12,000. Well, actually, I think it will go down to 12,000, even lower. I think the uh, high techs are going to be absolutely hammered this year as interest rates rise. That's my opinion. Let's follow it and let's see where we're at at the end of the year. You never know. Maybe I'm right. Remember, if you act on it and the Nasdaq ends up performing and doing extremely well and you lose money and you've gone short, don't blame me, it's only an opinion. The other area I want to comment on is cryptos. Bitcoin's been very, very quiet. Now, when something's very quiet, it's quiet before the storm, either it's going to be ramped up and start its journey back up towards the $100,000 level, or it's going to fall further to around about the 34,000 level. So let's go into a few details. Uh, the Bitcoin, dollar Bitcoin at $41,500 level seems to be treading water, seems to be static at that particular level. The next support level it was to fall would be around about the 38,000 and the next level of fall below that would be 34,000 level. I don't want to comment if it falls below 34,000, but anywhere between 34,000 and 41,500, there'll be lots of buyers that will pick up the Bitcoin. Um, huge amounts of um, interest in Bitcoin, a lot of fans out there, and there's people saying that this would be the new currency, this would be the new medium for exchange. Um, I actually follow that. I do believe that could be the case unless central banks and governments pull in regulation to taper it or limit the actual use of Bitcoin. What's the major concern? The major concern on Bitcoin is that there's been last year over 14 billion dollars of Bitcoin transactions that were fraudulent. That is really caught the interest of the criminal uh, authorities, of the police, of the authorities, investigations, to look into where this money is going to fund either terrorism or money laundering or criminal activity. That could be a significant, hands off the wheel, that could be a significant impact on the cryptocurrencies simply because it is used by criminals to move money around. Uh, I've been there, I've seen it. Um, unfortunately, the biggest scammers in the world use Bitcoin to scam regular individuals to take their hard earned money and put it into their scammers' back pocket. So be aware of that of Bitcoin transactions to non regulated or suspicious websites because once it's gone, you'll never come back, you'll never get it back. And furthermore, just be aware while I'm on the subject of those scammers who say we can get your money back. We found it in the blockchain. That is the biggest load of trash out. No one has found your Bitcoin and no company is going to call you 
and say that they found a Bitcoin and the further lies are that they represent the FCA or they're calling from the FCA or they belong to the FCA or they belong to a regulatory, regulatory authority. It's absolute lies. It's got no value. It's a load of trash. Ignore it. Do not pay attention. It's got no value. Okay, that's just regarding that particular point on scammers. Um, this week you've got further banks reporting, some more companies reporting. Um, if the figures don't come in well, then you could expect further falls in the markets. I am expecting further falls in the markets, in my opinion. So just be aware of that. You should be taking out shorts, in my opinion, and looking to take out some puts to protect your portfolio or take some action regarding your portfolio. This is May Valensky with Driving Markets. You can contact me on LinkedIn. You can connect to me on, the, on WhatsApp on Instagram, on YouTube. I'm going to set up a Twitter account also. Uh, please subscribe to YouTube. And if you like the YouTube, please press the like button. It will really make it significant for me in getting the ratings up. Mayor Valensky with Driving Markets. Have a good day.